Hello everyone and welcome to this micro tutorial of how to make your own Minecraft mod pack for the Technic launcher specifically. Now, I know most of you are probably looking desperately, as I did at one point, how to make a mod pack for Technic, specifically one that works. Because I know of one particular YouTuber who I will be linking in the description below. Of, uh, he, he explains it very well and very uh, in-depthly, right? Very clean explanation. However, there's been one issue that I've been experiencing um, uh, in his video that many people have been experiencing as well. And that's the issue is that whenever you make a Minecraft mod pack, it just it comes out as vanilla. What do I mean by that? Well, I mean that you make the mod pack and it comes out as vanilla, which means that it, Forge isn't loading. You have all your mods and everything. Like, for example, I am the owner of multiple mod packs here. My most notable and most proud mod pack that I made so far is called A Marvelous Life. You can check it out on Technic down below. Now, as you can see, I have all my mods here. Okay, I gathered all the mods I wanted, okay? And once you do that, you're gonna go over to Technic, and you're gonna lock. This is what a successful mod pack looks like, okay? Just to make sure you understand what it, how it's supposed to be behaving, and what to look for. Then I'll get into specifics of how it's, um, how, like, to fix the issue you might be encountering of it not working, okay? So this is a Marvelous Life Two, which is the successor to my original mod pack, A Marvelous Life. And as you can see, after I clicked play, after installing it and everything, obviously, um, it's going to just take a little while to load up. See, it loads up. And as you can see, it says loading, constructing mods. And you see a anvil in the bottom right corner. Okay. And it's using your memory. This is how you know this is loading a forge mod pack. This is loading forge mods that you implemented and everything. Like, see, I put biomes of plenty. I put caverns. Uh crayfish thomcraft stuff like that all right but that's not the focus of this video let's just get right to it. right so <clears throat> first things first how do you make a mod pack well it's actually very simple you take a bunch of mods you put it in a folder and you play it it's that simple and i'll show you how to upload it properly too okay so here's what you're going to do first thing you're going to do is you're going to create a folder on your desktop okay and when you make this folder, you can name it whatever you want. For the sake of this, I'm going to make this mod pack folder called uh, the MC Experience. Now, I know other YouTubers probably say test mod pack, stuff like that. But this is going to be a special one because I'm going to teach you how to actually make it work. Now, what you're going to need. So, you go over to New. You click on folder, you create a new folder within this folder. This is your mod pack now. You're going to create bin. Alright? And then you're going to create mods. This is optional, but you can make a config folder to match all the configs if you want your mod pack and the mods within your mod pack to behave in a specific way. So, I'm going to explain what each of these folders do. So you understand. Bin is for your forge launcher. What do I mean by Forge Launcher? The Forge Launcher is something that you have to install via the website and you have to inject in this whole thing to make mod the mods work. Forge is necessary to make mods work. You cannot make the mods work without Forge. Next, mods is for your mods list. How do you get mods, you might ask? Maybe this is the first time you're actually looking at my video without looking at anyone else's. I'm gonna explain that to you and I promise you, I promise you i guarantee you 100 that your mod pack will work okay so let's open up google or whatever search engine you have next we're gonna do is course curse forge sorry curse forge curse forge is a place where you can get mods for other games such as world of warcraft starcraft all that stuff i'm not sponsored and i'm not i don't plan doing any sponsorship <laughs> um so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to mod section how do you get here? If you want to be lazy and just have a one click to get here or whatever, I'll put in the description too. Don't worry about it. Now, this is completely up to you what you want to install. But just for the sake of it, we're going to take the Just Enough Items mod. 
Okay, so here, as you can see, you got a whole page for just enough items. It shows you, oh, this is the mod. Now, here's a very important part that I think that, for or what I've seen, that not many people tell other people about when making a mod pack. When you are making a mod pack or installing mods alike, you have to look for compatibility for your mods. So, for example, we are going to make a 1.12 uh, mod pack as an example you can choose whatever you want your mod pack to be you want your mod pack to be 1.16.5 you look here okay so now let's go back and go through the process so find the fold not folder find the mod right over here click it next what you're gonna do is you're gonna find the view all button here now sometimes mods are just gonna be for 1.12 or 1.16 or any other version of Minecraft okay since there's multiple releases of this mod I'm going to look for a specific one. How do you filter that? You click view all. You go to all version. And you find 1.12.2. Okay. Now I know this mod have 1.12.2 because I've had it on my mod pack. But if it doesn't, you're going to have to search that yourself. All right. It's not that hard. <clears throat> Anyways. So next, we're going to look for the most recently uploaded. Now, what are, what are we going to look for? Uh, how are we going to look for that? These are filters here. You're going to look for uploaded and this most often enough, if the mod creator is um, very kind enough to provide um, build versions of the mod, you're going to look for the most, most recent one. Okay. So this one, 301.jar, that's, that's the most recent one. So we're going to click on that and then we're simply going to click download. Anyways, take this, take this thing. You're going to go back to the MC experience. That's my mod pack. Remember, go back to your mod pack, get in mods, your mods folder, and simply just drag it in. Boom. You got it. Odd. Now, how do we make it work? The normal process of which everyone else on YouTube, from what I've seen, tells you to do this. You do forge or frog, like I have typed, forge. You go over to 1.12 because it's a 1.12 mod pack. I decided that. Okay, now you're gonna go over here and you're gonna click on uh, recommendation. You don't want you want the universal file. People tell you to do this. I'm not saying this is the right way. I'm just going off of you know showing you where it goes wrong. Okay, then I'm gonna show you how to fix it. I'll provide timestamps if you want to skip this entirely. It's up to you. Okay, so here you go. Forge. one point twelve point two dot jar. You're gonna go over to the bin folder. This is where you need to put it. Alright, now, once you have this, you're going to want to rename it to modpack.jar. See, that's simple. Then, what you're going to do is, um, I recommend testing this, um, testing this first, but again, this is just, I'm showing you how everyone else does it. Alright, so once you have this, you're going to go over to uh, a website of which uh, we'll be able to provide the zip folder and keep it there so that way technic can access it and that website is dropbox again not sponsored not interested next what you're gonna do see all these folders here you're gonna take all these you're gonna highlight them by dragging or you can simply click on one and shift click like that then you're gonna go add to archive you're gonna need 7-zip or uh, renrar I'll provide links to it down below. Renrar is what I'm using to do this. You could also use 7-Zip. This is the website. I'll link it down below. Anyways, highlight them, add to archive. Now you're going to make sure that you select zip. You can name it, again, you can name it anything you want. Anything at all. It doesn't matter what the name is, as long as it's zip. Once it's zipped, right here, you click on OK. And what that does, it'll make a zip right here. What you're going to do is you're going to drag this over to Dropbox, just like that. Okay. After when it's done uploading, you have it. Now, you want to keep this in mind. You want to make sure that if you have multiple things in Dropbox, if you're using it before, you want to know which one is which. I know this is the, my modpad because of its unique name. Now, we're going to go over to the Technic Launcher. I will, again provide the uh, Technic Platform website in the link down below. Now, 
once you've logged in, assuming you have an account, once you log in, you'll want to go to create a mod pack. You click that, get this thing out of the way, uh, and you look for the version of which you want to make the Minecraft version of. It's a 1.12.2. Again, we're going to call it the MC Experience. Woohoo! Amazing name. Short description. This is a test for making a mod pack. Okay, done. In terms here, create a mod pack. Boom, it's created, but it's not working yet. It's just created. It's in the Technics um, directory. So if I look it up right now, it probably won't be visible. The MC experience, it's not visible, right? So. What we're going to do is here when you get to the overview for your mod pack, you can find it through here in my mod packs. Um, it's looking, it's, it, ha it needs a location. Location meaning location of the zip folder that you made. And this is very important. Very important. When you are making a mod pack or when you um, are updating it, you have to... Uh, either use solder, which explains you how to do that there. There's a tutorials how to do that, but I'm not doing that there. You have to make a version and then after you have to provide a, a change log. I'll teach that to you later. Now, what you're going to do, is you're going to click on share on your zip folder in Dropbox. Then you do create link. Then you do copy link. To make sure you copy the link, make sure you right click on the thing down here a couple times. Once you have done this, Go back to the Technic Launcher, I mean Technic Platform, sorry, and in the location thing here, right, this really long link, you're going to go at the end of it. You see where this, there's a zero right here, this little value here, that means that it's not open to sharing. How do you do that? Simple. You have to change it to one. One means true. And then you press enter or you click on save or update mod pack right here, update mod pack. There. Changes have been saved. So now what's happening is that when you try to load up this mod pack, it will search for the zip folder right over here. If the zip folder does not exist, it probably won't work. If you go over to versions here, you'll see I'm about to do this to make a round thing, write whatever you want in there. Boom, save changes, just like that. We're going to test our mod pack. We're going to go over to the MC exper experience oh what do you know it exists now see not Cleo that's me right over here it's version 1.01 .01, and it's the Minecraft experience and there's my description you're gonna see Minecraft launch up this is vanilla right here you see how the the anvil is not here and how it's not working this is the pinnacle of your problem. Even though, even though you did everything I told you to do, which is the same thing as everyone else tells you to do, it's not working. This is what I'm trying to get across. This is the issue. For some reason, the Forge version of which you install it on, that you saw earlier, okay, 1.12, the Universal one and the installer both don't work because for some reason, Minecraft and Forge don't like this version. You can choose a specific version. If you do is show all versions down here, right? Of which one works. But I can show you an even easier way. An even easier way that uh, someone once showed me. How do you do that? It's super simple. It's very simple, actually. So, as you can see in my Technic Launcher here that I have what's called MT Forge 1.12.2 in courtesy of Jajek. I don't know how to pronounce your name, but you know who you are. Thank you for this. Very useful. Now see, Jajek made uh, this mod pack for a specific reason. You might say MT Forge, but it doesn't have any mods in it. It's just vanilla, but with Forge on it. Exactly. It has Forge on it, but no mods. You know what that means? Of course you don't. I don't know why I asked you. You just go over to percent app data percent, where you access all your mi Minecraft stuff. You go over to dot technic right here, okay? Then you're gonna go over to mod packs, 
and you're going to get empty forge right here. And you're going to look in the bin folder and you're going to look for Minecraft, I mean modpack.jar. I know for a fact that this mod pack works and I will show you right now of it working. You're going to click play. It has no it has no mods on it. However, if you see it right here as it loads up, give it a second. That it's loading all the mods necessary to run Forge. Forge works. We know Forge works. We see it in front of our eyes. Okay? So, uh, we're going to try to exit out of this because we don't need to load it. Okay? So, we're going to basically steal this. We're going to steal this folder. Uh, the jar, I mean. Let me open this here, too. Perfect. Now, what we're going to do is simple. Get rid of this because we know it doesn't work. Get rid of this because we know it doesn't work. So we're taking this jar and we're dropping it here. Hold down right click while dragging it. Hold right click to copy it. Don't move it, just copy it. Okay? So now we know that this version of Forge works. We know that for a fact because we tested it. We did. Now, next thing we're going to do is I'm going to teach you how to update a mod pack. What what a good YouTuber I am, showing you a 301 how to do everything to manage your mod pack rather than making multiple videos. So, what we're going to do is we have all our mods. Yeah? We have the we have the modpack.jar. Sure, we do. Now we're going to do the same process, add to archive, zip, and we're going to make a new version of this to make it distinctable. And we're going to drag it over here. So now this is the first version of my mod pack of the test mod pack. This one doesn't work. This one does. So you're going to select this same thing, create link, copy, copy a couple of times make sure that you got it go over here to mod pack settings to your mod pack replace this with control V change this value to one press enter it's updated it's saved now since we're pushing a new version we have to make a new version I don't use solder because you know I'm just like that and we're gonna update the version to 1.02 now with this it's going to prompt you. Where is it? The MC experience. See this little arrow? That means there's an update for it. Now it's going to say, do you want to update this pack? Yes. So let it update. It's going to unzip it. It's going to get all the Minecraft assets like before. It's just going to run it through. Simply like so. And look! Forge is working! And it's loading my mods. Gee willikers, would you look at that? Simple thing, huh? A simple fix to something that most people don't talk about. Now we're going to see if the mod works. We're going to create a new creative world. We're going to create a world just like so. And I'm going to show you that it does indeed work. I'm going to prove it to you. That way you don't think I'm scamming you. Well, then again, how can I scam you? I'm not saying give me your money or anything. So as you can see, we're in a new world, and JEI is right here. It gives you all the things how to make these wonderful items. You can search up sword, you can make a diamond sword with two diamonds and a stick, as everyone knows. There you go. That's how you make a Minecraft mod pack, and I hope you enjoyed this thoroughly. Because I never, ever, I never had the chance to do it, but hopefully you will enjoy this. And enjoy your mod pack. Be sure to give this a like if this helped you. So that way this video can reach other people that are in need of this information as well. And please share this with anyone who you know is trying to make a mod pack. That doesn't know how to. That's been running into the same issue as I have. Okay? So this is it for now. I'll see you all later. Peace out and enjoy.